that was the grand jury's decision, and you know we have to respect that. But really, I'm just looking more at the future than anything else now. The family of John Neville Jr. says they are in disbelief after learning a grand jury decided to only indict one of the six people arrested in connection to their father's death while he was in custody in 2019. Michelle Hugens facing involuntary manslaughter charges for the tragedy at the Forsyth County Detention Center. She was the nurse on duty when Neville, who was 56 years old, suffered a medical condition. Fox A's Daniel Pierce has been following this case since the beginning. He joins us now live. Daniel, you just spoke with Neville's son, Sean. He and his family, they're still trying to process this decision. They feel they have enough evidence to bring involuntary manslaughter against all six individuals, not just one, justice for their dad, that they still are fighting for. You're okay. You're okay. Stay, stay right there. No, stay, stay right, right there, there buddy. Stay, stay right there. It's You're just right. kind of hard to understand with everything, with the video, with the coroner's report, with all of this detail, you know, that particular decision. It's been more than two years since his father's passing, and life hasn't gotten much easier for Sean Neville and his family. I think every day that goes by, it's a little more difficult. The 56-year-old was hospitalized in December 2019, just hours after being booked into the Forsyth County Jail on a misdemeanor charge. Body camera footage released showed he suffered a medical condition. Prosecutors say these five detention officers handcuffed him. Please, I can't breathe. Please. A grand jury chose to indict nurse Michelle Higgins, seen here talking to Neville after he passed out. You had a seizure, okay? They're just taking care of you. They're doing this so you don't hurt yourself. And tried to take his blood pressure during his struggle with officers. John, stay relaxed for me. Keep blood pressure, okay? A little surprised uh, at the outcome yesterday. For Scythe County District Attorney Jim O'Neill's reaction to Monday's decision. So we're going to sit down with the investigating officers and sit with the family and the attorneys for the family and, and try to figure out what, if anything, um, we should do next. What does justice look like? For your father? Well, nothing's going to bring him back. You know, that's what it comes down to. But really, it's just holding the people and the systems that predicated this happening responsible. She will appear in court on May 22nd. The attorney's office is going to be meeting with the network and their attorneys to figure out what. All right, I'm sorry we lost Daniel's uh, audio there, but uh, just a, a brief summation of what he was saying. Daniel did reach out to Hugan's attorney for a comment. We have not heard back. The DA could present new evidence to the grand jury to support a cause for indictment charges against the five detention officers. Hugan is set to appear in Superior Court in May. We will continue to follow the story aggressively and bring you the latest information as we get it.